Welcome to New Horizons in Chinese Philosophy. This is Lecture 6. In this lecture, we will take up a new philosophy school, Moezi. We will focus on two things. One is Moezi's political design, and the other is Moezi's utilitarian ethics. Moezi was a competing school of thought that was contemporary with Confucianism. According to Confucianism, normative order is established in a ritual structure in which each of power holders is to be good in Confucian sense. To be good means to take the full responsibility that is required for the position in the ritual structure. Moist normative order is established in the hierarchical structure in which each person is supposed to do good. To do good is to serve some interest. The utter good to do is the good done by heaven to serve the most general interest in the world. Men have intimate knowledge of what their interests are, but they do not understand what good to do to serve those interests. Comparatively, men of worth have more knowledge of what good to do. Heaven has the full knowledge of what good to do to serve the most general interests of the whole world. The heavenly knowledge is based on universal love. Each of the men in the hierarchical structure is supposed to have universal love in their heart. When the general interest of mankind is served, the particular interest will get served afterwards. Particular interests derive from the general interest. Confucian human being is a social and a moral being arrived at in a ritual design. After Confucius' death, there was a feeling of fatalism prevalent among Confucianists. They found more and more things out of their ritual design, although they worked hard to improve the situation by means of Li and music. At this point, Li and music did not seem to bring out moralization as effectively as before. Alternative schools of thought were needed to remedy the situation. Moism came up to fill the place. Unlike Confucianism, Moism is a movement with its own religious military organization headed by Juizi, a supreme master. Mozi was the founder of Moism. We know very little about his life story. He lived between the early 5th century and the beginning of the 4th century. Although he came from a lower social class, he was well educated in the traditional culture. The book of Mozi consists of 71 chapters. 53 of them survive. There are 10 large themes. They are promoting the worthy, identifying upward, inclusive care, condemning aggression, moderation in use, moderation in burial, heaven's intent, understanding ghosts, condemning music, condemning fatalism. They are treated in trials of three chapters apiece. Maybe they represent three different versions of the master's doctrine. From the book Huai Nan Zi, we know Mozi studied the teachings of the Confucianists and accepted the methods of Confucius. Confucius 
had a supreme public goal to bring peace to the world, that is, to create a society in which all men will enjoy peace, economic security, and harmony. Although Confucius also took the nobleman's self-realization as a parallel goal, he insisted that the personal goal is to be subordinate to the universal social goal. Mozi shared a common cultural orientation with Confucius. He was also convinced that the total social political goal can be realized only by an elite vanguard through the political order. Quote, only the ruler of the state can unite and make uniform the state standards of morality. The ultimate responsibility for the entire world order lies with the very top in the hierarchical order. It seems that Mozi explicitly separated Confucius from his latter-day disciples. Chengzi asked, quote, If you attack the Confucian literati, why do you praise Confucius? Mozi replied, quote, what I approve is that which is true and cannot be changed. End quote. What Mozi rejected is the latter day Confucianist's enormous passivity in the face of fate. This is the passive attitude that they took toward the universe, toward the religion. Okay. Let us now turn to Mozart's thought on religion and politics. <laughs>